Well, I used to always think the hardest part about starting any business was getting the money. Well, watch this video and you'll see that this guy says the fastest part of starting a business is getting the money. The rest takes some time and effort. <laughs> That's right. He invented this uh, little, you know, little gadget you put underneath your desk, you know, to exercise and and to be you know more healthy at work because we sit down like this all day doing nothing and your back gets tight and all this kind of stuff and then we get stress and that shrinks our muscles too and gets all the vertebrae all screwed up in the back and so how do you keep healthy but when you have to sit down all day you know in this new society in front of computers well that's what they worked on, you know. And they thought about it, and actually they're young people just out of school, yeah, college, and uh, they thought about it for a while and tried things, and then they finally go, hey, this is it. And then the easiest part was getting money. I mean, they got like, you know, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 just like in a month, you know. And it was a lot longer to think through the project. And now it's going to be, now they have all the money, it's going to be longer than a month or so to get the thing made to get to these customers. And also watch this video because I'll show you how important it is getting customers ahead of time before you invest in production something like that. In other words, so, so many times I, go, I wrote books, you know, and I'd go print 10,000 and then hope they sell, you know. Maybe they would, maybe they don't. Now you don't have to ha have that investment. You don't have to worry about it. You go out and sell it first. Yeah, <laughs> you see if anybody's gonna buy it. And they give you money ahead of time, you know. And actually, that's what I used to do on TV. I used to go on, didn't even have the book, and hey, you wanna buy this book? People send me money, then I go print it fast, you know. And that was my source of crowdfunding, you know, early on. So that, what, so how you, you eliminate the risk of money. You get the money from the customers ahead of time. Then you go make it and send it to the customer. So watch how they did it. Well, Arnov Dalmia and your business fitness cube. I mean, you had to come all the way from India to show us how to <laughs> not get fat <laughs> when we're working all day and have those aches and pains, you know, from sitting at our desk and living the cubed life, right? Actually, I just, I just, I'm almost finishing a book called Cubed and it's the history of how we developed our workforce in cubes. Nice. So you should be in an addendum <laughs> on this book, but it's a wonderful idea you have. Thank and not you. only is it a wonderful idea, it looks terrific. And uh, looking at the video, how they use it, it's so smooth. And wow, you have an incredible product. And you already got $50,000 fundraising on this thing on Kickstarter. Wow, yeah, what does it you. feel like to be just a year out of college and getting all this money already? <laughs> it feels amazing. I think uh, we did not expect such a response. So I think it's been really encouraging. And I think it gives us kind of um, the energy to keep going and pursue this. Although uh, it's just been a year we've been out of college. We have other jobs. I think it's, it's really <laughs> encouraging. Oh, wonderful. So I guess the motivation is not to, you know, not to be stuck in somebody else's cubicle, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> and so now you have a very good appreciation how boring and uh, tightly wound you get sometimes. Absolutely. It, it, working like that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to not only liberate yourself with the business, you're right. going to liberate everybody else who's still stuck in those cubicles. Right. Right? Yeah, I think <laughs> exercise is such an important part of your life. And I think yes. more than exercise, it's important to stay active. And we can't mm -hmm. do that. I mean, most people can't stay active while they're working because they're constrained to their cube, yes. uh, which is what we wanted to change. Yeah. Now, I feel very fortunate. I, I work at home and okay. I more or less always have and have control of my life. But I still, I run six hours or six miles a day almost for 40 years now or so. Wow. And, and, and I just, without that, I, I would be half the person, I think, without that <laughs> exercise. So you're giving it to people who don't have to go out in the cold and the hot and things like that. <laughs> right. You get a twofer. Yeah. You're working and exercising. Absolutely. <laughs> so you don't have any more excuses to say that, you know, I don't right. have time to go to the gym. 
<laughs> and, and it's not big at all. I mean, this thing looks so slick you know, when I sing it, but when you see it underneath the desk, I mean, that video you did too is wonderful. And, and people should, even if they're not going to buy it, look at that video because it really shows you what someone can design so nicely and, and elegant. You know, and it obviously runs so nicely for people. And it, it's not one of these, you know, bicycle pedals that'll be jerky or anything like that. Right. It, yeah, it'll be a pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. um, so how long have you been studying this thing to get it off the ground? It's been about 18 months ah. that I've been working on this. So ah, you can't do it overnight, darn it. You can't do it overnight. <laughs> <laughs> I started while I was still in uh, my final year of college. Uh -huh. Then we developed it through that. And now it's been about 18 months. And then we finally, when we were ready, when we were confident that we can make this, then mm -hmm. we decided to launch on Kickstarter. I see. So, so getting money will only take 40 days, but you took 18 months to think to through the idea. Think about it. Right. <laughs> wow. That's it. Well, no, that's right. I guess getting money now is faster than getting the product finished. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think getting, um, going from, even going from the idea stage to actually creating something that takes mm -hmm. a long while. Uh, and I think that's the hard part where most entrepreneurs kind of drop off. But if yes. you're able to sustain that hard period, harsh life, then you're able to like actually create something. Well, I mean, in India, do people, are people using Kickstarter to start ventures there too? Uh, not, not as much as the US uh -huh. or Europe. I think people are increasingly becoming familiar of Kickstarter, but right. it's still not like a big deal. Or most people don't know about it, let's put it that way. Well, that's the same way here. A lot of people don't know about it. <laughs> you know, the, the, the circles you move in, they would, but you know, middle America still isn't you know, aware of what's going on. They may know the name, but they're really right. not, they not what sure. How, yeah, how, well, what do your parents think that you, you go on the internet and raise $50,000 in a couple of weeks? They were just very skeptical and I decided to do this. <laughs> they were like, you know, who's going to go online, give their credit cards, pay for this kind of a thing. Uh, you guys don't have the product ready. So they were really skeptical, but now they're kind of uh, trend as well. Now they're believers, yeah. Now they're believers. <laughs> because now you can pay your student loans, right? Right. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. I mean, but that's typical of parents, and that's what I worry about getting aging, uh, is that you don't get a sense of what's happening now in the world you know, right. and what's possible. And, mm -hmm. and that's why I feel people like you at your age you know, can teach the rest of us what is possible. So <laughs> if a 22-year-old could go out and raise you know, $50,000 in two weeks or something like that, gosh, why can't I at 70? You know, and, and I can, you know, if I learn to use these tools. And, right. Yeah. And I guess it wasn't a whole big learning curve for you. You just read the instructions, fill in the blanks, and and do this. Thing. No, I think it was it was definitely a lot of learning, especially because I I did not come from an engineering or science background, so it was a lot of learning. But I think that learning was actually a lot of fun. It was probably yeah. uh, much more fun than my college experience trying to learn many of these uh, things by yourself, and uh, that's how we got here. Well, I mean, not, I didn't mean. I mean, learning like how to raise money oh, on, okay. uh, on the internet. But yes, I mean, the technical oh, right, to make right. it as, as as cool as you have. You went out and got the help you needed, right? To Absolutely. do that. Absolutely, I think yeah. from that perspective, you're spot on. I think Kickstarter really makes it very easy for yeah. you to try and raise money or even validate the product. Right. You know, you don't want to spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars, right. even if it's other people's <laughs> money, and then realize that you have a product that you've spent so much time, so much money on, and people are not willing to pay for it. Right, and this way you you have two things. You found out, hey, people want this stuff, and right. I can make money at it. Exactly, <laughs> and I think the important thing is actually having people to kind of place a pre-order or pay for uh -huh. it, because there are many people who say that, oh, we would love this kind of I a know. thing, but when it comes in the market, they're like, you know, yeah, they would I, not pay for it. Uh, but I think Kickstarter really kind of helps you transition um, uh, from that phase and kind of validate your product. Yeah. Now, I, I think that's the, it's the best market study in the world when people put up their money. Otherwise, a market study is nonsense to me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> as you said, they may, by the time, yeah, I buy it, may, you know, but when it comes and asking for money, that's a whole different thing. Right. So you're right. I mean, Kickstarter really shows you a market study that's real because mm -hmm. you got okay. money in the bank. 
Yeah. Well, you're a delight, and it's so nice to have you in this country showing us how to get more out of this country. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can do it. It's just learning the system a little bit right. and learning the tools. And to learn how to have fun at work at your cubicle, you go to Fitness Cube. F-I-T-N-E-S-S-C-U-B-E-D. See, I flunked English in college, so that's how I spell. <laughs> I feel there's people like me out there. Uh, fitnesscube.com, and, and you get a deal if you order now, right? Because it's, once it gets on the retail, and who knows, it's going to be more expensive. But plus, it's a great Christmas gift, isn't it? Because that's about when Absolutely. you'll have it back from the factory. So mm. this is a great little gift, and it's not some humongous exercise equipment at all. I mean, this is fits nicely under anyone's desk so it's a little right. package anybody could take you could take it on the metro with you and, and exercise <laughs> sitting on the train if you want <laughs> and christmas is around the time when you make all your resolutions to stay exactly healthy, to right. go to the gym so right. now you don't have an excuse right <laughs> and you can help your friends do that too right. <laughs> well thank you again you're a delight to talk to and thanks for hanging around this country and giving us great products so that's thank fitness, you so much matthew thanks for having me cube.com take care